We will revise chapter 5. Okay, let's begin. We will read the vocabs. Our house, my cat, our party, our and my, and our, uh, these are uh, possessive pronouns, like it, his, her, our, my, uh, uh, their, also, and so on. Uh, my dad, this is me, me means here I, he introducing himself by saying me. My mom, my favorite hobby, and from the picture we can uh, say his, his favorite uh, hobby is cooking, or maybe eating. Okay, and these verbs we saved it for sure, and we need to revise them. Uh, live, prepare, paint, use, fish, hunt, believe, celebrate. So these verbs are present. Okay, these are present. In the present tense, we just put the verb as it is, like live, use, and so on. Okay, for example, I live in Egypt or Malawi. Okay, it's a fact. I really live in Egypt in this uh, in this time or in the present. Okay. Um, so, these are the verbs, okay, and these are in the present tense. When we need to transfer it to the past tense, we just add D to the verb, or ED, or IED. These are conditions, and when can I add D, or ED, or IED? Let's see. The verb ends with E. Like live, use, uh, celebrate, we add D. So the verb ends with E, I will just add D to, to transfer it to the past. Like this, live will be lived, use will be used, and so on. ED, I will add ED when the verb ends with consonants letter. Like hunt, like Fish, again, fish. It will be haunted by ed, by adding ed. It's like this in the past, okay? Someone haunted and it's over like this. Um, fish will be fished. What about ied? Ied, we just add it when we have a verb with y, ending with y, letter y, and preceded by consonant letter. Like what? Like the verb cry. Cry here ends with letter Y and before letter Y we have a consonant letter. So we will remove letter Y and add IED. Like this. It will be cried. Okay? In the past. So we need to make uh, a paragraph about these verbs in the past, about the ancient Egyptians, okay? And it will be a task, I will um, talk about it later, okay? Let's move to lesson two. Lesson two is about uh, reading. It's about also the regular verbs. We add D or ED or IED to transfer to the past because uh, there are irregular verbs. What does it mean by irregular verbs? Uh, it's just a verb we can't add D or ED or IED to transfer it to the past. We need to save it like, uh, for example, go. It will turn it into the past, will be went, not go or something. No, we can't add here ED. We will just save the verb, okay? Um, like what else? Like... Uh, Right, like the verb write, it will be wrote. Okay, we can't also add ed. No, we just need to save the word uh, or the verb to know the past form. Let's read. Live in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians lived in houses. Here, lived is a regular verb ends with letter E. 
So we add just D to transfer it to the past. So we add here line to know it. In houses, they painted the floors and the walls of their houses. Painted here is a verb in with consonant letter, which is letter T. So I add ED to make it in the past, okay? They prepared their food in ovens. The verb prepare ends with letter E, okay? So we add just the letter D to make it uh, a past form, okay? Their food in ovens or over open fires. The, this paragraph is talking about the life of ancient Egyptians. So um, we will have a homework to write uh, over seven sentences about ancient Egyptians. Their life, how did they eat, how did they uh, um, use uh, the river, uh, what did they do in their life in general. Uh, we need to know. So we can borrow sentences from here. So please focus on this paragraph. It's important. Um, they prepared their food in ovens or over oven fires. Most people use the brown dishes, but very rich people use the dishes with paint. The, the verb use ends with letter E, so we add D, so we need to underline it. People hunted crocodiles and fished in the Nile River. Important men, women, and children used the makeup. They believed that makeup was magical. Here was is an irregular verb. We can use it in the present as is or are. Is is a present. Uh, I can say uh, this mobile is black. Okay, uh, but when I need to, to make it in the past, uh, as example, I, I, had, uh, I had a mobile and it was, it was black, okay, in the past, something, something in the past and over, okay, okay, uh, it was magical, ancient Egyptians believed in many different gods and the gods, Ra, for example, was the god of sun and Nut was the goddess of the sky. How do we know about life in ancient Egypt? Because they, the ancient Egyptians painted pictures of their daily life on the walls of their tombs. We call these pictures holographics. Holographics. So we need, uh, or now we know a lot of information about the life in ancient Egypt. I know that you write a lot of paragraphs like this uh, before, um, and I need you to write a paragraph again about the life in ancient Egypt. I can use many, many, many sentences about uh, the life in ancient Egypt. Um, I can start like this. The Egyptians or the ancient Egyptians were so great people. What does it mean by great people? They were so good, uh, they were uh, wonderful people or uh, something like this. They lived beside the Nile River. Now I will start describing their, uh, their life. They lived beside the Nile River.